They are. The people of the northeast of England set a standard of manufacturing excellence admired the world over. And I know that the fire of innovation and enterprise still burns brightly up here today. It's our job, yours and mine, together to develop and harness qualities like these, especially true of the young, far too many of whom are present languishing without jobs, skills or training. Young people need to know that they can help to build a better future for themselves, their community and their nation by developing their own potential. We owe them the encouragement they need to become tomorrow's business leaders, tomorrow's workers, tomorrow's scientists, tomorrow's engineers. And we must show them that manufacturing is of the present and of the future. In the Northeast, new industries have gradually replaced the old creating jobs and growth. But the region's tradition of manufacturing skills and craftsmanship lives on. It is precisely those skills that are helping the manufacturing sector to lead our economy towards renewed growth and export-led recovery. That's not just my view, but that of major overseas investors that have come to this region, like Siemens, Nissan, and many others to thrive and attract the inward investment which growth depends upon, we must develop the skilled workforce on which competitive modern manufacturing industries depend. I know that many of you are anxious to play your part in creating a high skill, high value, high tech economy here in the Northeast. The creation of the Northeast Skills Group, chaired by Mike Jones of Siemens, demonstrates your commitment to making a real difference, identifying addressing skills issues as the number one business priority. The group has also identified actions which local employers can get involved with. Building relationships with your local skills providers, including schools, colleges and universities, to make sure that, that their learners are clear what your skills and business needs are, are critical. You can help to shape skills provision and qualifications at national level, by engaging with your sector skills councils and group training associations. And I'm sure the EEF is championing the sector's case at national level. You need to know the government will also play its part, even at times like these where new spending commitments are the exception rather than the rule. That's why in the budget, we committed ourselves to delivering at least 250,000 more apprenticeships over the next four years. Apprenticeships are at the pivot of our skills policy. And apprenticeship starts here in the Northeast have increased by 38% since 2005-06, reflecting, I hope, the apprenticeships you are employing yourselves, as well as the companies in your supply chains. The region has already been successful in securing significant support in round one of the Regional Growth Fund, with 13 projects which could generate over 13,000 direct and indirect jobs between them over the next few years. Not least importantly, you can get together as you are today to talk about your sector, your region, and your needs. So I hope that you come away from this conference with lots of new ideas and enthusiasm about how to get involved in building not just a skills base, but a foundation for growth and prosperity in Northeastern manufacturing, a foundation that will help Britain recover and prosper. Thank you so much for listening to me today and please enjoy the rest of the conference.